we're going to sample this soil and see how it's doing. Yeah, <laughs> I think these, these might be pretty good. This front yard features only navel oranges, and then there's some other citrus on the inside of the gate, which we'll look at. Okay, yeah, John, let's take samples from three trees and kind of get a good idea for the, how the whole grove is doing. Okay. These are just regular sized navel oranges. They're not even dwarf, but he prunes them uh, once a year pretty dramatically in order to make them easy to pick. Navel orange will get 30 feet tall and 30 feet wide if you let it. This one looks pretty healthy. Yeah, let's get in right close to the root system. Hi everybody, my name is Shannon. Um, I went to school at Cal Poly Slow for landscape architecture. I am here today to help John and Chip find the little critters that we've been talking about or he's been talking about so much in the soil. I'm pretty excited. I think we're gonna find a lot of, a lot of little critters today. I think it's a really good sign that we just found beneficial um, fungi because if you think about it, all of the soil that's out there, from that we took this amount and then from this amount I took um, one dry milliliter which is like just a very small amount on this knife and I put it in here and then from here um, we take a pipette and from the pipette only one droplet of water lands onto this slide. So if you're seeing things that are beneficial under that one droplet of water, it's really indicative of a lot of fungal hypha um, activity because um, if you think about it, it's just the tiniest, tiniest amount of soil and that's pretty, that's pretty cool. You might be surprised, it's better than any orange you could grow in Minnesota. That's tart. <laughs> Well, I did say it's not quite right, but it's good. <laughs> you did warn me. It is good. Looks like a hashia persimmon. That has that shape, whereas the fuyu is uh, flat. So this is the persimmon you use for making um, cookies. One of these is a pink grapefruit, one's a white grapefruit. He's got caracara oranges. That's the... Oh, I love caracara. Caracara is yeah. good and beautiful. Mm -hmm. He's got kind of one or two of everything. This might be that seedless lemon. I think it is. That's pretty darn healthy. <laughs> I don't know what that is, but it's something that stays small. He's um, really little guy, huh? Some kind of lime, maybe? If you follow this road, and, and there's a road on the other side, it takes you to the house. Behind the house is the river. These are uh, tango tangerines, which ripen much later. He has some tangerines that ripen early. If you want uh, sour, you could taste those. <laughs> I've already got my sour fill, thank you. Yeah, that's good. Come over here, maybe. Urgh. Yeah, make sure you catch that. That's good content. <laughs> So this is under a caracara orange, and the oranges perform very well. So we're going to test the life in that soil. Biology is the key to changing soil, not physical organic matter. And that's why good quality compost is so effective. It's not because physically, I mean, you'd need to use too much to physically change the soil. Mm -hmm. but. Yeah but it's the uh, biology that changes everything about the soil. That's true, yeah, you wouldn't change your soil by adding a bunch of silt or a bunch of clay or something. You, you work with the parent material you have and the soil like texture you have and you add biology in. And we're trying to look at the biology. I just found one, I just found one. Let's, let's zoom in on it. I'm gonna go into 100, let's see. I gotta focus on him too. I see. You see Is him? it this? Yeah, he's moving yeah. around in the corner there. Yeah, yeah. 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 Okay. He's quite uh, agile. Yeah, he's super agile. It looks like he's feeding right now. I'm going to zoom in even closer so we can see the mouth parts maybe. Yeah, look at him go. He's just squirming around. Mm -hmm. You know, in simple terms, it uh, looks like an earthworm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. it does. And you yeah. can kind of see the digestive. But just a very, a uh, an unusually active earthworm. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, really. So here's the Platinus racemosa, California sycamore. I think he said about these are about 10 years old. These two we just planted. This one, the 24 inch box, and that one. There's quite a hard pan issue here. Mm -hmm. And so we used a mini excavator, excavator to break it up and we dug a really big hole and went like, I think 10 feet, didn't we? 
we're sure we got through it and then we used a lot of our product. You know what we did, Shannon, is we went down deep and there were distinct soil profiles and then we kind of mixed that up some. When we're digging it, it looks like bad soil. <laughs> wow. So I don't know what yeah. we're going to find. But. That'll be interesting to see. Because in my classes, Dr. Ingham would say that actually roots and biology can get really deep into the soil. So down through the, the soil profile, which is kind of the section where you'll look at soil and how it kind of goes down to bedrock, life can get down like very, very uh, far. And they were showing us some kind of case studies on that. And it was fascinating. So I think, you know, if you if you put a bunch of, um, what, what did you put on? We put... Optimize, maximize, and nourish biosol. We had a basin, which we ended up taking out, but we, inside the basin we used the penetrate. I think, I mean, I think if you have a lot of biology and then also with John's products, there are, there are ingredients that are feeding the biology too, so um, like more simple sugars that are feeding the bacteria, and then also I know humic acid is in one of your products that feeds fungi. Um, so it'll be really interesting to see. I think this tree will do well though because of that, because you know you mix that into the soil, you mix life into the soil, and it can go down really, really deep actually, which is pretty cool. It is probably an area that he has thrown some stuff on, you know, over the years, because he says he, he does treat the whole property, but I don't think as much as he puts it on his citrus, but we disturbed it, you know how physical, uh, disturbance can damage the life and we disturbed just, it a lot. I um, just found a nematode. Really? Yeah. So we're going to zoom in on this guy over here. And there's a lot of bacteria, right? Definitely a lot of bacteria, yeah. Mm -hmm. Which makes sense. Let me follow him down and over. He's really moving fast. I think he's moving faster than any of the other ones we've seen today. Look at him go. He's mm -hmm. wriggling around. Yeah, that's a good sign. Oh, where'd he go? He's <sighs> moving off your screen there. That's the hard part sometimes, they go too fast. There he is. Okay. It is a good sign that, that there's movement for sure, because if you see dead nematodes, eh, you know, you might want to think twice about why. But yeah, this one's a bacterial feeder again, because there is a bunch of little green um, bacteria that you can see inside of, they're see-through also. But it's pretty cool to see the digestive system. I think you got stuck on there. That's wild. It, we could watch this all day. We're, we're just nerding out right now, excuse us, but. That's so cool. It might look a little bit inert in a bag like this, but if you get it under the microscope, there's so much beautiful life. And it's really important that we remember that when we're putting things into our soil, we want to be supporting that life. The best way to do that is with products that are either food for microbes or attractants for microbes or, or some of the microbes themselves. Well, thanks so much, John, for having me. John and Chip, I don't know where Glad he's Glad you could around. come. <laughs> what do you think? Should they like the uh, video? Please like this video. Leave us a little comment below and subscribe to John's YouTube channel because we're putting out fun stuff like this every week. Okay. Look at those. Aren't those something? Take, you got to seriously you gotta get that. That's Keith Davey in full glory. Wow. The deep red is nice. Yeah. yeah and, then that, and then that kind of like it's got a light on it, you know? <laughs> wow. Look at that. <laughs> That's beautiful. Yeah. Yeah, I know they're, I'm sure they're Keith Davy. So if you come here, you can kind of see the river. Yeah. And sometimes there's not wow. much water in it right now. But, mm -hmm. but yeah, that's the, that's the desired view of the river.